In regards to the lawsuit, the end is appearing to be close. Fred Rispoli, my favorite quotes from the story below. This one's about Stuart Alderati, Chief General Counsel at Ripple. Quote, Alderati declined to itemize hourly billables for Ripple's prominent litigators. And, quote, Hinman, who returned last year to Simpson Thatcher and Bartlett, declined a request for comment. Yeah, so uh, Stuart Alderati here, this whole article here written by him. Let's check this one out. And we have Hinman declining to join the conversation. The reason why I wanted to bring up this article, though, folks, is just think of how how insane, how exciting, how bullish these articles are about to get once we actually win this lawsuit. This is before. This is just the lead up. This is just the hype, right? Build up to the end of this lawsuit. Bloomberg Law. Wall Street veteran is the face of crypto in Ripple versus SEC fight. Let's check it out. SEC lawsuit against Ripple nears two-year mark. Company says it spent $100 million on law firms. Stuart Alderati is giving the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission its toughest fight against crypto regulation in one of the industry's most important tests, even as the FTX debacle grips the world of digital assets. Alderati, a 63-year-old lawyer, has spent most of his career working for traditional finance, financial players. As chief legal officer for the payments company Ripple Labs, he's now at the center of a scorched earth litigation and public relations battle against the SEC and its chairman, Gary Gensler. They want to exert power that the law doesn't otherwise give them, Alderati said in an interview in Washington prior to FTX bankruptcy. The Ripple case is a keynote in the growing debate over regulating an industry that's sometimes compared to the Wild West. It could soon enter a new phase. A federal judge is reviewing dueling motions from Ripple and the SEC, each asking to suit to the suit to be resolved in its favor. Ripple claims it has already spent one, roughly 100 million to defend the case and effectively shield the entire crypto industry from what it calls overregulation by the SEC. Alderati has turned to a roster of well-known outside lawyers, including the Obama administration SEC chairs Mary Jo White and her former de deputy Andrew Ceresny. Meanwhile, the Crypto winter descending on digital asset markets this year and the high profile meltdown of FTX has the SEC touting its efforts to protect investors. Now, I'm not going to read on any further, but you guys get the point and you guys see the excitement building up here. Talking about the fact that we have two former SEC officials, SEC Mary Jo White and the former head of enforcement, Andrew Seresny, which when we saw that, we said this case is over. Right. I mean, a former SEC official. Right. And obviously they go back and forth. They do their dance. But these lawyers are killers. I mean, Stuart Alderati and, you know, these two that they've got right here. This is who led me to believe that there's no chance that the SEC is going to be able to make their case. And you can see it from all the briefs. You can see it from all the appearances that they had to make in front of the judge that the lawyers don't even believe in the case that they're making. I mean, it's it, it, it's it's very clear. But the buildup before this case even gets settled, getting very exciting. Stuart Alderati comments, as we hit the beginning of the end with the SEC lawsuit, I couldn't have asked for a better team to be part of. Thankful every day for my equally admittable colleagues at Ripple. The end is near, folks. It's super exciting to see. And uh, for me, you know, it's just a matter of remaining patient, staying focused, locked in on our business, locked in on the moves that we're making right now. Because although this case appears to be wrapped up, the, the bullish things are coming out. You need to decide what's best for you, what's best for your investment strategy, what's going to get you through this winter. It's a very serious situation, okay? But there's an opportunity right here to be had for those of you that are still trying to acquire these assets on the cheap. But I think that our breakout moment is coming rather quickly. I am your host, Zach Rector. I really appreciate all of the love and support. If you want to support the channel, just remember that you can start by smashing that thumbs up for me, sharing this content far and wide, and everything else is at my website.